health and science for schools. Today we're going to be titrating hydrochloric acid against sodium hydroxide and hopefully preparing a sample of salt at the end. So what we're going to need is of course sodium hydroxide. Here I have my hydrochloric acid. I've got a conical flask. In here I've already put 25 centimeters cubed of my sodium hydroxide as well as a little bit of this methyl orange. It's green in base and it's going to turn red if we get an acid. I've also got a place to put all my waste uh, liquid. I've got a funnel, and most importantly, I've got my goggles on, so because I need my eyes later to see the results. Now, here I have my burette. It's full a little bit more than it should be, so I'm going to let that down to the zero mark, nice and slowly. And there we go. So now I have my acid in here. It's at the zero mark, and I'm ready to measure with it. I've got my conical flask, as I say, I've got 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide in there as well, a little bit of indicator. And I just release the acid in there. I'm going to swirl it. As soon as I see any kind of red color change, I'm going to start slowing this down because I want to try and get an accurate measurement if possible. Currently just free flowing. I'm looking for that red color change. There's little spots of red appearing now, so I'm slowing down the flow a little bit. Move that in a bit more at a time. Make sure you keep swirling it. It may look like it's starting to go red, but once you mix it up, it'll go back to green because it's still slightly basic. A big spot forming now. Gotta keep swirling it. Just another few centimeters cubed, I think. And looks like we have it there. You can see there's no more green left. Keep swirling. And it looks like that took 34.4 centimeters cubed of the acid. So I'm going to take that measurement, 34.4 centimeters cubed of acid. I'm going to write that down first of all. So what I'm saying is it takes 34.4 centimeters cubed of acid to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of my base. Now I'm going to do this a few more times just to verify my answer. I'm going to pour this away into my waste beaker. Okay, now I'm ready to set up for my second go at this. I've got 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide in my pipette. Now let that flow into the conical flask. Don't let the glass drop in the conical flask, but in your waste beaker. I'm going to add a few drops of my indicator. That's green, so we know that's still a base. And I'm going to have to refill up my burette with acid. Make sure you take the funnel out so you don't get any more drops in. And you can release that acid into your acid beaker until you get to the zero mark, as we did before. And now we're ready to titrate again. Now last time we hit 34.4 centimeters cubed, so it, it was a bit of a test run, but it's probably going to be somewhere around there. So I can pretty much let it free flow for a while, maybe until 25 or 30 centimeters cubed. Okay, 
keep swirling this just to be sure. Coming up on 25, so I'm going to slow down the flow just a little bit. And as we get closer to 30, I'll slow it down a bit more as well. That red spot is still there. Getting slightly larger every time as it gets closer and closer to neutralizing. Make sure you keep swirling it just to be absolutely sure. It looks like we're very nearly there. Just a few drops at a time really is what we're looking for now. I'm trying to get an accurate measurement if possible. Uh, one more little bit I think will do it. And there we go. Our colour has changed permanently. It looks like that time we were at 33, no, 34 centimetres cubed exactly. Thirty-four centimetres cubed. I'm going to do this one more time just to be absolutely sure of our result. So it's going in the waste speaker. And then once again we're ready to go. I've got my 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide in here. And I've got my acid all the way up to the zero mark. And I'll let it flow. And again we're looking at around 34 centimeters cubed. So you can let it flow pretty freely until you get closer to that mark. Then you want to add it a bit slower. bordering right now and that looks like it's no longer green anyway so we're at 34.2 centimeters cubed so what I'm going to do is average all of these that's going to be 34.2 centimeters cubed so what I'm saying is it's pretty much 34.2 centimeters cubed will get us this neutral liquid here. Now I have to do this one more time. I'm going to do it without an indicator because we have to prepare a sample of salt, but we don't want green or blue or red salt. We've got to just get pure salt. Alright, for my final titration, I've got no indicator in here because I don't want to have green or blue or red salt in the end. I've now worked out that it's in around 34.2 centimeters cubed of acid will get me purely neutral salt and water. Make sure you look dead on at your burette. Keep it vertical. So there we go, there's 34.2 centimeters cubed, so hopefully now this is neutral. Now we don't have to prepare this solution here, this is salt and water, we have to prepare just salt. So I'm going to have to bring over my Bunsen burner, I'm going to try and evaporate off the water, and hopefully end up with a sample of salt. Now to prepare our sample of salt, I've got uh, my heat source, I'm going to try and evaporate off the water that's in here, or at least some of it. So I'm using an evaporating dish here, rather than a clock glass, just to be sure that it doesn't break the heat. So my hot flame, I'm just going to heat up my evaporating dish, and hopefully a lot of this water will evaporate away, and we'll just be left with pure salt. Okay, so we've let that evaporate away with the Bunsen burner. I'll be careful with this because it's hot. But you can see there's a little bit of salt left behind there. Uh, you won't get too much salt when you're using quite dilute acid and base as we did here. Uh, so if you have 
stronger stuff would be a bit more dangerous, but you get more salt out of it as well. You don't need to make a huge amount to get this done, though. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Thank you.